Hi, good day. I have a Juno you know, 60 here today, and it's been in my shop before, and I completely uh, tuned it and everything. But there was a problem which I didn't notice, uh, which proved to be pretty difficult to reproduce. Uh, but I think I found it, and I want to see if I can find the source, the root of this problem. This is what it's doing. Um, it's in test mode, so it's cycling through all the six voices sequentially, and one of the voices is like FM'd, distorted. Uh, you can, it's an annoying tone, but you can see it on the scope. Let's give it a try. There it is. You can clearly see another sign superimposed, like this is what it should look like. And there it is again. So one of the six voices is resonating, oscillating, I'm not really sure. I do need to lower the cutoff. When I have to filter all the way open, it's not happening. So to me, that suggests the oscillators are all right. Let's turn off all the oscillators and try to... Just use the filter. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's really hard to see in the scope. There's a, I think it's really hard to, to hear, but there's a low rumble in the filter, almost like it's being elephoed. Also, the other voices are. One of the six filter voices is definitely not okay. It's oscillating, or. Well, there's also some bleed coming from somewhere. So let's see what we can find. So the question is now where, where do I start? Only one of the VCFs is showing this behavior. So the part over here is not it because then it would show on all the six filters. So is it in here? That's where I'm going to start. Right, so I made myself a little wiser. I was trying to uh, find the source of any oscillation and what I've found thus far is IC47 in the schematic is the demultiplexer which converts or splits up the control voltage signals to the six individual filters and this area here is just one copy of the filter there's actually six in there and I probed the output of this demultiplexer and all the signals uh, were exactly the same none of them were uh, wobbly or oscillating or strange in any way but I did find out that it was actually filter 5 that was distorting so then the question was, is it the buffering after the demultiplexing? The, every control voltage goes through an op-amp, the TL82 in this case, and they only drawn one version, and the one that 
I'm looking for in this case is IC42 but it doesn't say like these two outputs they both go to uh, IC42 but it doesn't say if it's to the first or the second one so I turned off the synth and I know control voltage 1 4 and it's in continuity mode control voltage for filter 5 comes from pin 1 on the demultiplexer and if I probe the input of the second op amp I get continuity so this tells me that the control voltage coming from the demultiplexer is connected to input 2 of IC42 the op amp let's double check if number 6 is uh, wired to input 1 of the op amp so we're measuring pin 5 1 2 3 4 5 this should go to yes the control voltage for filter 5 is connected to input 2 of IC42 now let's see what signal is coming from the op amp and if we look at the output of the control voltage for filter 5 there is a little bit of noise but if we look at the filter for the output for filter 5 well it's hard to see but at my scope I can clearly tell that it's wobbly and it's going all over the place so at this point I'm going to take it apart take the board out and take out the op amp because this is a pretty common failure where op amps start to oscillate and run out of spec uh, but it could obviously be some surrounding circuitry that's causing this problem so here it is the CPU board of the Uno 60 it's time to take it out there it is it's the right one it's always nice let's see what we have an 8 pin socket machine so next thing is get myself a new op amp put the board back in the machine and see what happens so I replaced the op amp but lo and behold it's still not solved Store the sound. One. So it's still. Well, I'm not sure I missed anything, but if I look at the output for the op amp, it's still wavy. So I went back to the demultiplexer again. So I just took out the 4051 uh, demultiplexer and just for good measure I put it in my tester and as you can see uh, most of <laughs> the results are norm normal um, but one is not. So I went around and I replaced the demultiplexer and the demultiplexer was actually the problem one of the filters is tuned lower and that's probably because I have to uh, readjust the calibration but the distortion is gone so if we open it up a bit and now all one, two, three, four, five. Yes, 
all the control voltages look the same. There's no more wavy waviness. So the the multiplexer was actually the problem. Now to recalibrate the machine. So, in the end, I replaced the demultiplexer, which is demultiplexing the control voltages for the six separate filters that are in here. And